Our uh, first guest uh, stars in a new film entitled 5050. It opens on Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the entertaining, the very funny Seth Rogen. <laughs> Seth, welcome back. Hello. You know, I was looking today at uh, what we call filmography, your filmography. My list filmography, of, Yeah, yes. list of your films. And uh, the, the number of films you've made is impressive. And the variety and the nature of the films also impressive. And the money these things have made is remarkable. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I Thank mean, you. th you're like the most powerful man in Hollywood, right? That, I, that's not at all true, uh, but I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that's reserved for people much more handsome than I am, and people with wives and many kids uh, of various ethnicities. That, uh, <laughs> I, 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 yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I kind of get where you're going. Well, you should, you should be very, very proud of yourself because uh, when, when you first started coming on the show, you were just a kid from Canada and you didn't really know what was going on. I had no idea yeah, what was going that's on. That's right. I didn't know my, my butt from my elbow, exactly. as they say, and now I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, now see that, now you've overdone it. I've overdone you, it. You don't I, need, no, I we don't need, my hand. no, that's fine. <laughs> uh, and, and what is this picture here? We got a, a photo of you and uh, your buddy, and for a long time, the question was, well, if you have the Seth Rogen, do you need Jonah Hill? Remember that? Yes, it's true. Yeah, and now we have both also very successful. And what yeah. were you guys doing together? Uh, this is me getting extremely drunk, mm -hmm. and... Uh, <laughs> And not having the, the wherewithal to know I shouldn't take pictures like this because they wind up in People magazine. Uh, and then my girlfriend sends them to me asking, what the hell did you do last night? Right. And the answer is, I, what I'm doing is I'm getting very drunk with the cast of the Jersey Shore as that picture is uh, being taken. Whoa. Which uh, is kind of like playing basketball with Michael Jordan. It's like... Uh, <laughs> they're good at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. now, this brings up a couple of questions. Well, one, hey, had you lost a bet? What, what happened? How did I, uh, honestly, I actually like the Jersey Shore people. Mm -hmm. Like, I, 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 unironically, like, I respect them like I respect, like, a stuntman or, like, a rodeo clown or something like that. Because <laughs> um, they, they are putting their mm -hmm. selves in physical danger right. for our entertainment. Right. They're, they're drinking things they shouldn't be drinking, and they're having sex with things they shouldn't be having sex with, and they're at great risk on a daily basis of communicable diseases and alcohol poisoning, and I, and I honestly respect that, they're, and I think it's great. They're out there getting it done they're for us. They're doing it for us. That's right. Well, I never looked at it quite like that. Well, I, uh, and I, yeah, I, I, I have no recollection of the night whatsoever, yeah. but... Uh, how, how did it begin? It began, me and Jonah Hill were at the uh, Video Music Awards, mm -hmm. which uh, is really boring, because I have never heard of any of the musicians that are on there, because <laughs> uh, I'm not 12 years old. And, uh, <laughs> and um, <laughs> so we decided to get really drunk uh, to combat the boredom. Mm -hmm. And um, we found uh, the cast of the Jersey Shore sitting nearby, and shockingly, they also seemed interested in getting really drunk and uh we thought we would combine our efforts again it was like it was like an opportunity to play baseball with mickey mantle mm -hmm. even if you don't like baseball you don't turn down the opportunity right. and so any uh, special memories if you can remember anything i remember dina dina who is one of the little italian ones uh she uh, <laughs> uh she, um, <laughs> one of the little italian ones <laughs> she uh she gave me something called a New Jersey Turnpike, I'm told. Uh, and I don't know what it is, but I've been tested for everything you can get tested for. And, uh... Ah. <laughs> how did... You mentioned your girlfriend. How, how, how is your girl... And your fiancé. I'm sorry, your yes, fiancé. Yes, I'm getting married. Getting uh, married soon. I'm getting married pretty soon. Our wedding's approaching. Uh, we're in the final throngs of the planning, which is nice. Uh... I got a few things in there. We, we got a video arcade at the wedding. Um, <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. At, at the actual service? At, not, at the, not at the service oh. itself. Yeah, we're standing <laughs> in a video arcade. But uh, it's, it's funny. Yeah, like, she asked me to make a list of the stuff I, like, really kind of would want at the wedding. And it was, like, a video arcade and, like, a Sunday bar. And, like, and I realized a it's, like... Sunday yeah, bar. I realized it's, like, the exact same list a 12-year-old would make if he was, a like... A Sunday it's bar. True. I wanted Jean-Claude Van Damme to officiate it. And uh, that... <laughs> Is he going to do that? He is actually. It's great. Yeah, it's very exciting. <laughs> He's got ordained it's as gonna, a rabbi. It's going to be a yeah. huge, uh, going to be a huge uh, wedding, right? It's going to be pretty big. Uh, 
Yeah, a lot of my fab. But when you're on TV all the time, you can't hide the fact that you're getting married mm -hmm. when you talk about it on talk right. shows and stuff. So I was going to try to not invite my whole family, but they know about it. They so. found out about it. Word out leaked about it. out. Yeah, yeah. Word got yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, now, this uh, movie, The 50-50, was it shot in your hometown of Vancouver? It was. It was shot in Vancouver, British Columbia, where I'm from. What and, a great uh, city. Yeah, thank you very yeah. much. Um, now... I read this afternoon that when you're up there, uh, you're acting in the film, yes. and you're also a producer of the film. Yeah, I'm yeah. one of the uh, producers of the movie. So, so you're more than just a hired gun here. You're yeah. actually a, a person of authority. I am. And that you were visited on set by a lot of your old buddies from Vancouver, and they would uh, come by and hand you a joint. Is they that, would, uh, yes. They would hand me uh, a marijuana cigarette. Mm -hmm. uh, very offhandedly, I guess. You know, I guess if, like, you're... Jared Fogle, people hand you Subway sandwiches or something like that, and, <laughs> and uh... <laughs> now, and, uh... Now, here's a question I've been wanting to ask you. Yeah. I remember six months ago, a year ago, uh, you're busy uh, uh, writing up the Green uh, Hornet. Yes. And uh, you went on uh, our friend Howard Stern show. Yes. And you, and you mentioned that uh, often you would write under the influence of marijuana. That is very correct. Yeah. Yes. Now, now, at the time, I said to myself, does the studio know what they're getting here? The writer of the script and the star of the movie are creating something while they're all baked. Yes, very baked. <laughs> uh -huh. They do now. <laughs> uh, well, they, they must have known from Howard. But, okay, now here's the question. And, and, and uh, as you suggest, many of the characters you play in, in films is a guy who's often smoking marijuana. Yes. In, in, in your own life, yes. what percentage of the day yeah. are you loaded? Uh, I wake up and go to the bathroom, so that takes 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. I don't know how what percentage 20 minutes is, but <laughs> yeah. subtract that from 100 and pretty much that amount of time. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, of course, no, no, no course not at not. all, yeah. no. I'm... Now, now, what about your... <laughs> so, what about your fiancé? Does she share this interest? Uh, not really, probably a little more since she started dating me. I, I think I'm a bad influence. I either get you to start smoking weed or I make you stop smoking weed. I, I will do one of those two things to you. <laughs> now, now, how old were you when you began? Uh, I was around uh, 13 years old, which is pretty young. Uh, but I'm fine, so I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> well, that's good. And, and one, one more question, and we'll move, move on. I don't know. You can talk about it all day. <laughs> uh, from the time you were 13 to your most recent experience, yes. have you noticed that the strength of the... Uh, 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 weed, the, oh, yes, the, the weed, yeah. has uh, gotten stronger. Exponentially stronger, mm -hmm. uh, to the point that it is a little startling at times what pass what they can grow out of the ground these <laughs> days. I mean, it's just really <laughs> impressive. That comes from dirt and water. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it can drive you insane. Yeah. <laughs> and and do you like the stronger version of it? It's gotten. I've I've hit my limit. I've, yeah. I've realized I've had to downgrade from. I used to go and just give me the strongest you got, and now mm -hmm. that's too strong, right. so I can't do right. that anymore. Uh, and and uh, who? <laughs> Where do you get it? I. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk after. Have you, uh, <laughs> have you, have you ever had uh, experiences where you thought, well, hello, this not quite right? Yeah. Um, I, there's been times I really wish I wasn't stoned. Uh, one time uh, I was, I was uh, driving my car in traffic and a bee flew in it and I freaked out. Uh, and I drove into the person in front of me. <laughs> and I tried to blame the bee, legally. Yeah. I tried yeah. to make my case that it was the bee's yeah. fault. And how'd that go? Everything not too good, not actually. Too good. Yeah, right. not... Okay. Well, tell me about the... Uh... Uh, I saw this uh, film, and I, I thought it was a, uh, a, a wonderful choice uh, for a story. And it is a, a true story, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, and you know the fellow who wrote the story, right? Yeah, he's one of my best friends. Uh, six years ago, uh, I was a writer for the Ali G Show on HBO, and uh, one of them, I made good... Yeah, come on, give it up for him. He's great. <laughs> I'll take that. Um, 
And uh, and one of my uh, and I and there was another guy who was around my age who was a writer, um, and uh, we became good friends. And shortly after, uh, he found out he had a massive tumor on his spine, uh, which is not funny. But um, we we realized that the best way to deal with it, because we were I was 23 years old, was we just kind of made jokes about it all the time because we didn't want to talk about how we felt. Um, and and at the same time, no one knew how to react. And when he got better. Uh, we realized that we'd never really seen a movie that kind of reflected our experience and, and, and what it was like for a young person to go through this and still date girls and still have a job and still have friends that were obnoxious. And, and to us, that was, it was really interesting. Mm -hmm. And so we thought we'd try to make a movie out of it, which, thank God, turned out pretty good. Because mm -hmm. if he had cancer and we made a bad movie out of it, yeah. it would have really sucked. Yeah. Uh, um, and and the, the guy, the, your friend, is, yes. is okay? He's in remission? He's completely in remission, and he's totally good, and he's a movie writer now, so yeah. that's good. <laughs> now, uh, the part about the first girlfriend, is that all true, or is that, uh, you know, is that just like a rodeo? It's kind of, uh, it's, it's, it's fabricated, but it's based on, uh, some people that Will was friends with just kind of bailed on him, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately. Um, and, uh, and, and, and I was actually his friend at the time, that's all true, and I kind of would try to use his cancer for things that were maybe not self-serving, things that could benefit both of us. Mm -hmm. We, uh, you, um, use it to, to meet women? I, I tried, I actually met my fiancé while Will was sick at a bar, and he introduced <laughs> us, and it must have made me look pretty sympathetic and inspirational, I would imagine, because... <laughs> I was yeah. at a bar with my friend with cancer, yeah. but I was being funny and nice to him, sure. and it was, I think I came across pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So. Nice going. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so the movie, 50-50, let's see a clip here, Seth. What's this going to be? Uh, this is in the movie, uh, reflective of that. This is a scene where I finally convinced him to go out to a bar and try to make And when movies. you say him, who are we talking about? Uh, this is about? Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who plays mm -hmm. uh, my friend uh, Will That's, that's a fine job. He's amazing. Yeah. He's really an incredible actor. So we're trying to use the cancer at a bar to pick up women. Here we go. 50-50 opens Friday. There you go. <laughs> Seth Rogen, 50-50. Nice to see you. Thank you so much, and, uh, Dave. If I'm not invited to the wedding and it <laughs> happens soon, my best to you and your Thank wife. Thank you so be. much. Thank I you really very much. We'll be right back with Poppy Montgomery, everybody.